Abraham Lincoln famously described the United States as having a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Because we have a government for the people, we have open records laws that grant citizens access to most government documents. For journalists, this is a big deal. It's an important way to gather information, and many student publications don't make enough use of it. These so-called freedom of information laws exist at the federal, state, and local levels, and you can request to see documents from all these levels. We should note that some records are not available, of course. That includes things from national defense information to ongoing police investigations and some private information about students. The Federal Educational Records Privacy Act, or FERPA, limits how some student information can be revealed by schools. For more details, see our video on that. So what kind of records might student journalists want to see? The most common would probably be school or district records of things like budget information, health or safety inspections, trends in student discipline, achievement or attendance, communications between school officials, employment information, etc. At private schools, which are not governed by the same open records laws as public schools, there are requirements about making their tax filings, executive salary info, and accreditation records public. From towns or counties, students might want to see information about budgets, police or court records, inspections, real estate and buildings records, and so on. Your state has a lot of records about school districts, student health and safety, requirements for teachers, data on polluters, and so forth. And at the federal level, you might be interested in campaign donation information, public safety and crime data, environmental records, or information about education like graduation rates, teacher qualification, or disciplinary actions. So how do you make these requests for documents? Basically, you should write and request them. Fortunately, the Student Press Law Center has created a tool to help you write this sort of letter. Find it here or in the description below. It'll walk you through the steps to help you shape the letter to your specific situation. If your request is refused, or if you get no response in a reasonable time, you should probably talk to someone at SPLC and ask their advice on how to proceed. You may need to escalate your request and even go to court if that becomes necessary and prudent. We're lucky to live in a country where laws have been set up to help keep citizens informed, and journalists play an important part in doing this. There are some resources in the description below to help you. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.